Minister of Agriculture and Forestry Dr. Lien Tikeo told local media last week that logging under all the approved quotas, including trees that needed to be felled to allow the construction of infrastructure, must end by June 1st. Prime Minister Tong Lun Si Sulit has instructed that all types of forests be closed to logging by June 1st, with all parties prohibited from collecting or removing logs from forest fields known locally as Sanam Ning. The instruction was issued at the government's monthly meeting for May held on May 24th to 25th at the Prime Minister's office and chaired by Prime Minister Tong Lun Si Sulit. Dr. Lien told a press conference held shortly after the government's meeting. The halt on logging will allow the government to review the implementation of the logging quota, which was previously approved by the government. The Prime Minister has instructed that no party be allowed to remove wood in Sanam Ning areas, as this will create a loophole for illegal logging. The authorities were asked to inspect felled wood in collecting yards known locally as Sanam Song to ensure that all the wood had been cut in accordance with the government's approved quota. All wood must be processed domestically. According to the minister, initial information suggests there are more than 68,000 cubic meters of timber in Sanam Song in six provinces. Dr. Lien said his ministry will work with the relevant bodies to carry out inspections to determine who owns the logs in the Sanam Song and whether the owners have paid the related taxes and fees to the government. Once the inspections are complete, the authorities are required to report the findings to the government. The government will consider whether to allow further logging in areas where previously approved logging quotas have not been fully met. Consideration will be given to reopening forests for logging in October, Dr. Lien said, referring to the law on forests. The instruction came after Dr. Tong Lun issued a prime ministerial order banning the export of all types of logs and timber. The ban aimed to encourage the processing of wood in Laos to add value to wood products and close loopholes for illegal logging. The order, which was issued on May 13, also bans the exports of partially processed woods, tree roots, root balls, tree branches, dried trees, and ornamental plants. State bodies are also prohibited from using timber to finance infrastructure development. <laughs> Minister of Agriculture and Forestry Dr. Lien Tikeo pledged to take strict action to implement this Prime Minister's order and penalize anyone found to be violating the order.